<laughs> she looked like sloth off the Goonies. Good. Okay. Today we're gonna make a 3D engraving. Here's what we're doing. It's a Snapchat filter of my daughter. It's pretty funny. But this is like a beginner kind of deal. All this video is supposed to do is take the intimidation away from CNC and 3D. Um, I'm gonna do this the simplest way possible. So if you're an advanced person, then probably not for you. So. I'm going to go to the computer. If you don't like the computer work, I'm going to put a timestamp below. Go ahead and hit that and it'll take you right to the music and the fun and all that stuff. Here we go. Let's go to the computer. Okay, we open up Aspire here. We can just go to create a new file. We got to do our job set up here. So the job type is going to be single sided. It's a 12 by 12 piece of material. It's going to be around an inch thick. Uh, the units are inches. Our material surface, that's where our Z0 is going to be. Um, the bottom left hand corner is where we're going to set our X and Y at. And that's about it. So we'll hit OK. We're going to go to 3D. So a drawing is right here. It says drawing at the bottom there. And right here says modeling. Modeling means 3D. So we're going to come up here on this right here. It says create a component for selected or imported bitmap. So I'm not really sure what that's a picture of, but we're going to hit it. And here's a, a Snapchat picture of my daughter we're going to do today. I'm going to open that. Here we are. Beautiful, huh? Uh, we're going to click on that. I'm going to make this more of an appropriate size. So you just drag this. Well, there we go. We're going to put on 3D view. Look at that. It's beautiful. So we're just going to kind of look at this. It just does it automatically for you. And then you take it a step further and we'll go to this little wrench thingy right here. Change the properties of selected components, including scale, tilt, and face. So just hit that right there. And I'm gonna mess around with this shape height until it, I think it kind of looks cool. So that changes it and we can look at here. Oops, my bad. We can tilt this. It looks like it has a bunch of highs and lows on it. So I'm gonna leave that there for a second. That's gonna be funny. Um, I'm going to close this, and there's all kinds of settings here you can mess with, but we're just going to do a real simple one today. And we're going to close that. Create a vector boundary around selected components, so I'm going to do that. And then, this picture right here says apply smoothing filters to selected components. So we're going to do that. And now we can adjust how smooth. So on this, the minimum means pretty much we didn't do anything. So we got that right there still. It's all crazy looking. And then we can move it up here, get smoother. All the way to smooth. I think I want it somewhere in the middle. Probably about right there. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna hit OK. So let's come right over here to Tool Pass. And the thickness, X, X and Y datum, all of this stuff we've already got. And then Home Start Position. And you hit OK. And then here's your the end mill we're going to use for the roughing path is a is a quarter inch end mill, and we're going to go to the model boundary, not to the material boundary or whatever. This is going to be what we see right here is what it's going to clear out. Um, and we're going to calculate. This is up here. We'll slow it down just a little bit. 
previews of visible toolpaths. Beautiful. Hmm. So now we just close out of this, and then we go to a 3D finishing toolpath, and we're gonna select the biggest ball nose that I have, which is quarter inch, and the step over is gonna be 10%. And we just hit OK. Oh, I need to pin that. And so we just hit calculate. <laughs> now we look right here, it'll tell you how long, estimated time, one hour and 11 minutes. So we'll preview the toolpath. pretty cool huh? so we're gonna take it a step further and we're gonna do another one 3d finishing tool path and we'll go to a, a smaller tool so we'll select the smaller tool hit ok again come over here and calculate so now if we look 4 hours and 43 minutes <laughs> so Let's preview that one. Puts in a lot more details. All we need to do now is save these. And I'm going to do like this. I want to do the roughing first. And we're going to save that toolpath. I'm going to put rough. That's all I'm going to name it as. Save it. I'm gonna do finish one. And you make sure up here it'll tell you which which tool you're using. And I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it under. I'm gonna put number one first. One finish. The handheld controller doesn't have a lot of room. It, it's gonna cut off the word, so you want to your deciding words to be at the beginning of that. And then we'll go to two, save tool pass. We're just gonna put two finish. Save. So I'm gonna put these on the jump drive and go out to the shop and we're gonna make this crazy little picture. So I'm back from the computer and I have this milled up. It's just uh, something I had laid around. It's close to the right dimension, so I'm gonna use some wedges and the spacers and stuff. So that's ready. The first cut is gonna be with a quarter inch end mill that's in the machine already. The next cut's gonna be with a quarter inch ball nose, that's it. And then one half that size, right there. That cut is gonna be around 11 minutes. The one with the big bit's gonna be around an hour, and this one's gonna be close to five hours. So we got all day, we're gonna put on some music, time lapse, and here we go. barely touching it on that last pass barely touching it so I don't need the dust collection on pretty cool huh won't you miss the ones you know I'll be here hanging on waiting for your call seems like time as a wave passing by leave a mark in our minds to turn the memories river's gonna cry when you're gone gone we was gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. We was gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. We was gonna cry when you're. We was gonna cry when you're. We was gonna cry. 
So here's the picture that we used real quick. My daughter, little Snapchat filter. And here's what we came up with for an engraving. It turned out pretty cool, it's pretty fun. Um, if there's any questions about anything I did, go ahead and uh, leave a comment below or I'll put Laguna's information down below if it's something I can't handle. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe and comment and share and all that kind of YouTube stuff. And we'll see you next time. Y'all be good.